Have you ever tried to model a product before? Or maybe a hard surface model where precision of the surface is very important? If so, then you must know the struggle, because I do. For example, if you try modeling a car, you will see a lot of imperfections within the surface of the body that can make you cringe and waste a lot of time. But today's add-on can help you fix a lot of issues when doing precision modeling of any kind and of any technical surface with complex curvature like automotive models, product design, game assets, and so on. The add-on we're gonna talk about today is called Surface Diagnostics, which consists of curvature graph and analytic shaders that will help you create better, well, surfaces. So what's under the hood? Well, you get a curvature graph and a couple of diagnostic shaders for different purposes. For example, the zebra shader. It is called zebra because when applied to a surface, it creates alternating black and white patterns like a zebra. This one is perfect for reflections check. These shaders work similar to matte caps in Blender, however, with more control over the scale and texture rotation. With this, it is recommended to enable high quality normals when working with Eevee. And the add-on does expose this parameter, so you can enable it within the add-on window, that's because the texture would appear jagged otherwise. This is true for the zebra texture, as well as the ISO angle shader. This shader is also used to highlight and fix reflection lines, by figuring out how and where the geometry is deformed, thus picking any reflections imperfections. That rhymes, by the way. You can of course control the shader's contour, line thickness, and scale. Next up is Section Shader, and I will be honest here with you. I don't like this one very much. Its description reads, Projection of procedural lines on your model. It helps you see complex surfaces behavior or compare multiple models with objects colors. But it might be useful to the right people. Once it is added, an empty object is spawned at the position of your 3D cursor. This empty will control the position, scale, and rotation of these lines. Conversely, you can control the color, line thickness, and all the good stuff right from the add-ons UI. We also have the Slice Shader. The Slice Shader allows you to slice an active object at 3D cursor position with one click, which is amazing. Remember those cross-section pictures in science class? If you do, this is similar to that. It will help you reveal concealed details to compare multiple objects or to understand complex surfaces. Last but not least, the curvature graph. This one I personally like and I think I'm gonna use it a lot because it allows you to diagnose your topology and allows you to fix any inconsistencies of your model surface. The graph representation can be altered to adjust the scale and the color. When using this, it is recommended to turn off GPU subdivision, which you can find in viewport properties. A key philosophy behind surface diagnostics is to utilize existing Blender tools as much as possible. Therefore, diagnostic shaders and curvature graph are standard Blender node trees. You can use them on their own in vanilla Blender, and they play well with the asset browser. For the best efficiency, there is custom scripted UI for single-click workflow, which is shipped as a complete add-on with assets included. Also, diagnostic shaders are added to your objects using geometry node modifiers, so your existing material setups remain untouched. Curvature graphs are also added as a new mesh object with custom geometry nodes modifier. So generally speaking, this add-on is great for creating perfect services, especially for automotive projects, product designs, or something similar like that. So if you are interested, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also subscribe to this channel to stay updated with Blender news and the CG industry in general, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.